Trainini Richard Duo and the TMO referee Nicolas Datas. Artier Retier back to his former stomping ground and making contact with Lavani Bottia. The former Palua fly half, third in the pecking order for Fabian Galtier. Behind Roman and Tamak and Mathieu Jalabert gets this game underway. And they get an early penalty. And that was a Toulouse player flying off his feet. How strong and firm was that challenge to make sure that they uh, got to the man with the ball in his hands and made it very complicated. Slippery conditions. Just look at this. Jaminet's there. And Teddy Choma holding the ball on the ground. And a player coming off his feet to try and protect him. Unsuccessfully, Hastoy nails the penalty. And we got our first points on the scoreboard with yet not even a minute upon the clock. Roman Tamak kicks the high ball, and uh, there it is taken. Oh, that's a bit of spill. How difficult the conditions are. Greasy, wet ball. And Aldrit unable to keep it. There is uh, the tackle there from Retier, his former teammate, of course. And first scrum. Some wonderful battles. Petio Movaka, who was in a class of his own against the All Blacks in the. the in that victory against New Zealand, of course. Lide. Up against Pierre Bougarit, the French international. Romain Tamak up against uh, Hastoy. As I said, two of the three, two of the, uh, the main names as fly halves for Fabian Galtier going into this Rugby World Cup here. Hastoy. Traveling to Japan for the summer tour. And Jalabed just picking up a little injury. Flexion. And missing out on Bordeaux's win against Bayon today. Big shove from La Rochelle. The ball's not coming out. They get the penalty. Brilliant, brilliant stuff that was from the uh, La Rochelle pack. And that's two penalties that they picked up. One from kickoff and the second from the scrum. Let's have a look at that again. Well, solid drive right through. And we can definitely see that uh, Uini Atonio using 142 kilos of brute force to drive through along with his from our teammates, Bugarit Wadi. Pierre Bugarit. Beautifully taken. Beautifully taken by Paul Budahen. The ball comes out from Bergeron. Bulgarit this time, good running opposition. Oh, it's beautifully done. Lillian Leds gets the ball out. Teddy Choma, little kick down into the corner. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. It's good cover from Retier. Teddy Choma picking the ball up, thinking if he could throw a quick line out. Not the case. He'll do it calmly. Let's just have a look at this again. Raymond Rule, beautifully done. Just teasing the Toulouse defence with Leds getting the ball out. 
Little kick through there from Teddy Toma. Toma. Scored two tries against Perpignan last weekend. And uh, there's a penalty. And it's uh, Antonio who's just moved on the wrong side of the catcher. And just can't do that. With him in the way, Toulouse will not get anywhere near the ball. And Tamak clears the, his lines at the back five minutes in. Movaka is the line out. It's been won, it's been picked up as well. Well, he uh, drops, get, makes the knock on there, so they got the advantage here. Movaka. And Gro gets the ball out to Ntemak. Advantage is over. Brees Toulan, safe hands. Beautifully done. Retier trying to get his hands on the ball unsuccessfully. Bergeon, Greg Aldrit. God, how he manages to just get Yuri Ott out of the way there. A player who's on the cusp of getting a call up by the French team. This is a big kick going up, and the mark has been made by Intermac. Not a problem there. And uh, Budahans bringing him down. A legal hit, but he'd made the mark. We saw the arm go up. He's fine. Paul Budahans, one of the two brothers in this La Rochelle team. Teddy Thomas, Hastoy, Thumb smashing it up into enemy territory outside of the 22 in Tamak. And Germany going for a chase there. Nicely done. Oh, he kicks the ball against his teammate. Now he's got to be careful. Uh, he's playing an offside position, I think. So we might have. Uh... Yeah, that's. Uh... Accidental offside, of course, from the Toulouse player. Can't really go, can't challenge that. It comes off Raymond Rule's back. And then just. Uh... Accidental offside, possession going. To Toulouse, in fact. Paul Gros, fifth match and his second start in successive weekends. Scored a try against Clermont last weekend. That was a 13-32 victory. And Marcel Michelin, first win in 20 years. Yellow Army, well beaten in their own backyard. Gro gets it in there. That's a big scrum, but it comes out quickly. There's the little kick through that's gone too far. And no one is chasing that. That ball's gone out of play. And we will go back to... He gets... Perfectly taken off there. So, option of a scrum or a line-out. And they're going for a scrum. They're feeling the scrum, aren't they? Tonio, Bugari, Wadi up against Charlie Farmoina, Movaka, Duprat, Maxime Duprat. Maybe the... I'm not saying the leakest wink, because you should never uh, call any player the leakest wink, but the lack of experience. Um, played 12 matches in the Pro D2 in Ajan. And uh, the 24-year-old who arrived in Toulouse on the banks of the Garonne in 2011. Uh, the big battle coming up against Antonio. And here it is, the shove going in. They are just motoring forward. There's another penalty. Ball comes out. Bergeon sees that he needs to go around the outside. Nicely done. Ball tapped down there. And it went backwards, so it's... Uh, but we still have the penalty advantage, of course. And I think it was... Um, Two penalties. They're purposely knocking the ball down. And Hastoy just uh, 
Oh, it's an offside call, in fact. Wonderful player. 12 seasons playing down for Poe. One, a great kicker. And as I said, a third choice option for Fabian Galtier of fly half. And he's on a mission to try and prove himself. And what a great opportunity he has at La Rochelle as they battle at the right end of the top 14. Ten minutes in, just three points on the scoreboard. Bulgarit, nicely taken there by Roman Sazi. Plenty of experience. Bulgarit just going, taking the ball and going arcing around the outside. Gains a couple of extra meters there. His Wadi. Big charge, Antonio this time. Crashing into Charlie Fomorina. And Pierre Bougarit clattering into the legs of the Toulouse defenders. There's a good opportunity. Raymond Rule. Oh, he drops the ball in contact. Tries to make it available. Scrum it is. Frustration for La Rochelle. Such a wonderful player. So fast, so explosive on that occasion. Just the, the humidity not making it very easy, of course, but you've got to keep that ball in hand. You've got to, even going into the tackles, and Placine on that occasion, just pulling the arm. Cyril by Rodrigue Netti, and the American tight head. Prop, who's already scored a try, David Ainu. Another player who's come from Osh. Good friends, of course, with the, with Greg Aldrit. Pierre Bougarit. She seems to be okay. Shaking it off. Back in action. Right. Got to hold up here, otherwise they'll be in trouble. Timing's not good for La Rochelle. Into the hands of Brice Dulan. Dulan goes up. Two-time winner of the Brennus with Castor and Rassing. Now playing for La Rochelle, looking for his third with a different club. Ball comes out wide. That's a good tackle. Very well read there by Dylan Leeds. And he still holds the ball on the ground. The referee not happy with that penalty going against Chile, uh, La Rochelle for a player flying off his feet. Ici, on vient plonger noir. Ballon non propre après. Noir qui plonge et qui affecte la sortie du ballon. Very well read, that is. And Retier chopped down very well. He's just coming off his feet. You can just see. Raymond Rule, former Cheetahs player. Movaka's line out. Elstad wasn't straight. Happy days for La Rochelle. He's not right, Capitaine, 
Une distance, une distance ici, hein. D'accord Flexion Ligue Getting the ball back, getting a chance to get the ball out of there. Bergeon feeds it into, and they go down. And it's a penalty, and it's another penalty. And you can understand that this is uh, complicated. The set piece for Toulouse. You've got Cyril Bay, loose head prop on the bench. You've got uh, Ian Boubia. He's uh, 20 years of age, the Montauban hooker, and David Enu, who can play both sides of the uh, hooker. And we'll just have to see exactly uh, how they're going to deal with this because I'm sure that uh, that man, Virgil Lacombe, will not be too happy in how he's actually seeing this. So that will be a bit concerning for the scrum coach. Uh, line out here for Pierre Bougaret. That's fine. Aldrit takes it. Bougaret gets it at the back. Celle chez vous. Chez vous deux. Toujours même joueur. It's there for the taking. There are players just still falling off their feet. And finally, it's Roman Saz who plays scrum half. Aldrit takes it forward. Bergeon ready for, to box kick this up into enemy territory. Play the game, play the territory game, especially in these filthy conditions here on the west coast of France. High ball going up. That's gone straight out. And that is a mistake. We'll go back to where contact was made, where the kick was made. Concerns for this man, Pierre Bougaret. Seven capped French international. Such an important player for La Rochelle. Sebastien Boubou, the uh, the backs coach working with Ronan O'Gara, of course, taking up a bigger role since Ronan O'Gara got suspended, criticizing officials of the uh, Ligue Nationale du Rugby. The magic sponge, will it work? It's Um, special effects here. Will he be able to stay on? Still receiving treatment. Just waiting for a second. Maybe. Uh, yeah, Mr. Sharabas wants to just wait until he gets back up on his feet. Still getting a bit of treatment. And finally, it's the strapping. Twenty-five years of age from Gers region of uh, the south of France. God, that is some big strapping going around that left knee. Will it hold up? They got Samuel Lagrange. Been at the club since twenty. There he is, twenty uh, sixteen. Came through as an espoir. They love Paul Garrett here. Uh, at one point after, I think, the 10th round of top capitals last season, he was, no, even later than that, I think it was like round, round 16, he was the, the top scorer in the top capitals. And Tomac taken out in a big way. Lucas Tozan takes the ball forward. Well, there's a little knock on there. And frustration once again. Get themselves into good attacking positions. Jules Favre coming up and... Well, there's uh, moments where you just want clean ball, but these conditions don't help. Something that Ronan O'Gara and his staff would want to change in the in the La Rochelle performances are the the vacant second half performances that they've actually. Had over the month of December. 
They scored 100 points in the first half. It's the second half, which is uh, the issue. Only scoring 33 points in total in five games altogether. Conceding 18 in the first half. Another penalty for La Rochelle. This is very concerning for Hugo Mola and the Toulouse pack. Penalised three times in the set piece. Numerous scrums that you've been penalised on the left and the right side. You need to get it right. Otherwise, you know what will happen. Uh, there's the kick from Hastoy taken up into onto the edge of the 22. Just have a look. Brute force driving through. And you can see the players popping up. They're angling. It's all going uh, pear shape for the Toulouse pack. Oh, this is where big area where the game could be won. You can see Charlie Fomuin and not happy at all. Line out is straight and it's in the hands of Greg Aldrit. Bougar at the back. Here he is, ready to pop up, try and score another try. He's got four already this season. It's down on the ground. They've got to make this safe. La Rochelle, there it is, there's the ball. Of course, a short pass. Remy Piquet hits the deck. And it's a chop tackle, I think, with no arms. Uh, they got the advantage. This is not going to be uh, exploited. A good chance for them to kick for three. Yeah, tackling on the ground. He was just down on the ground and just trying to lunge for a player. And, and Ray Piquet down on the ground. It's an interesting player. He uh, played for Lille up in northern France. Look at this, he's down on the ground, he's got his leg on the ground. He flips over the top, quite dangerous that is, hence the reason why the penalty. You can't just kneel down and tackle, you've got to be standing up. And all eyes on Maxime Duprat, the 24-year-old again. Probably shortest run up from when he puts the ball on the tee onto Enhastoy. And another three points go for La Rochelle 6 0 in the driving rain on the Atlantic coast on this Saturday night en France. Well, they get the line out. There's Legrand just replaced Bourgarit. He's just not. He's not good, is he? Oh, I don't know if he'll receive treatment and come back on, but here he is, Samuel Legrand. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is make sure you get your line out straight because um, it's one of the little discrepancies that slips into a hooker's game. The shake of the head. They were chanting his name at the start. He's just a. A wonderfully appreciated player here. And he's not jogging off the pitch. He knows that he's in a bit of trouble there with that left knee. Samuel Legrange. It goes up. That's nicely done. And it's straight as well. Hastoy, Hastoy. And there's the kick and the clearance. That's a very good kick indeed. Taking the ball up to the halfway line. Started this game with 76 points up to, to 82 now. Look at that. Off, outside of the right boot. And getting distance. Movaka this time. Where's he going? Taken by Joshua Brennan. Oh, there's it's off the tet. Got to get on that. You've got to make that yours. Nicely done. 
tidied up there by Budahens. But it's the, uh, it's the open side flanker. It's a very messy. Oh, nicely done with the pass out to uh, Raymond Rule. Needed to do it. And it's gone out. Taken quickly, no. Let's take a look at that again. It came off the head. Trouble was, it was it was tapped forward off his head. Well, if, if it is knocked forward, well, it came off the head. So if it comes off the head and it's forward, I didn't have control of the ball. Well, I tend to agree, disagree with Mr. Sharabas, but uh, I don't have the, the P and the whistle. Movaka. Brennan again. Oh, a little bit of spillage there, and that's going to be a scrum for La Rochelle. They'll take that every time. Joshua Brennan, there he is. 21 year old, born in Dublin. Now. We've got to change. As I said, Maxim Duprat replaced already by Cyril Bay after 22 minutes. Let's see if the scrum gets a bit more stable. Cyril Bay, 38 caps, born in Po, down in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Former home of Hastoy. Recovered for the South Africa Autumn Test match. The final clash that France played. Uh, sorry, the, the penultimate match that they played down in Marseille before they beat Japan. Bergeon, scrum is solid. Cyril Byers stab stabilized things. Raymond Rule gets the ball out. Here's Brice Doulan. Doulan with a lovely kick. Is this a 50 22? Oh my word, I think it is. And I think they get the get possession back. Nothing the Germany can do as it skids across this very wet surface. And there it is. There's the bounce, the beautiful bounce, taking the ball into enemy territory, into the 22. And they've got a line out. Samuel Lagrange got it right for his first one, can he? Produce back to back straight line throws. It's a very short line out, and don't blame him. That's the way to do it. Grange picks the ball up. Lagrange taking the ball forward. Levani Bottia tries to stay on his feet. He goes digging, he goes mowing down players. Greg Aldrich picks it up, and the Toulouse defense coming to the rescue. Hits the deck. They've got to release the tackle player. Where is he? There's Aldrich. He's holding the ball on the ground. Mr. Sharabas watching very closely. Chance for Wadi. See if Wadi can go. Unable to get himself over the paint, it looks like. Centimeters, that's all it is. There, it's going to go. Surely it's been grounded there. Right underneath the nose of Mr. Sharabas. That's not a problem. That's a five-pointer. And that's an important score. And it comes from the emblematic captain, Roman Sazi. Vincent Merling, the president, watches on happy days in the driving rain. The bulldozer effects from close range pays off the lovely little turn. The defenders unable to take him. Dragged around, the momentum takes him down. Despite the hand of Romain Tamak, not a problem. Five points in the bag. And a second try for Roman Sazi this season as uh, Tuan Hastoy looks to make it 13 0 with 25 minutes on the clock. Perfectly executed. La Rochelle. Good, good start to this first half.
La Rochelle 13, Toulouse 0. Antonio on the edge of the 22 doesn't go out, still inside. It's inside. Didn't go out of the 22, so there's a chance for a box kick. And there's Bergeon, Thomas Bergeon, who finds the stands. We go up to the, 20, to the halfway line. Thomas Bergeon, former player of Puy Boiron. Got draw called up by Ronan O'Gara to play in the semi-finals and the final of the Champions Cup last season. Played in the final, of course. Played in the semi-finals as well. European champion with Kerr Barlow out with that foot injury. It's a line-out that's been won. And La Rochelle on the attack once again. This time it's Dylan Leeds, the South African, who sends a high ball. Oh, there's a little hesitation, but Jaminet steers one up onto the roof. That's gone. Hugo Mola. Laurent Thierry. Trying to understand how to get ball. It's all about getting possession. The fact that they have a line out here, La Rochelle, and they're in a pretty good position to uh, to attack. Samuel Lagrange. He's gone short so far. Will he go short again? Conditions are not ideal. There it is, a little bit of hesitation, but oh, it's again Budahent. And uh, Hastoy taking the ball forward, Greg Aldrich. Bergeon, Raymond Rule. Oh, a little spillage there. And uh, Roman Sazi, scorer of that try, unable to get his mitts on the ball. This didn't really find the basket, who was down by his ankles. Raymond Rule's pass, not brilliant. Well, Samuel Lagrange is... Lineouts have been very straight so far, even going long. There you go, it's just a little bit. Well, he should have had that, Sazi, to be honest with you. You kind of take your eye off the ball the moment that you see a defender coming straight towards you. Scrum on the halfway line. More or less for Toulouse. Paul Grau. Got to get it in. Look at that shot from, oh my word, that is extraordinary. Motoring their way through this Toulouse pack. And there might be a yellow card coming out. Is it going to be Charlie Fomorino? I think it is. I think it is. Pays the price. For a series of... Of incidents in that front row. And they now have 10 minutes with an extra player on the pitch. And they'll probably have to bring on David Anu. The next time that they get a scrum. And Hastoy sends the ball up into the corner. Another platform to the first half working like clockwork. It really is. The ball goes in at the timing of that drive. And uh, the show, look at Bottier. Yeah, he's loving it. He, lo he, he loves the, the scrum victories just as much as he loves those combination attacking moves at the back behind the forwards. Sazi winning the line out. Lagrange at the back, the shove, Movaka needs to get out, well the laser, the, the, uh, the connection's been lost so they could have uh, defended that.
Not a worry at all. Players coming up. Sassi goes out wide. It's a good opportunity now. The charge coming through. Chulfavre unable to do anything with that. The ball does come out. It's Dylan Ledge, oh my word, flying in to try and smash him out of bounds. Your yacht, Bergeon. Bergeon again is Bottier. Bottier goes very low as per usual. Bergeon, this time it's uh, Buda Heads, Paul Buda Heads. His ball being picked up, but there's, uh, it's been knocked forward there, so it will be a scrum. And you can see Buda Hen holding his chin in a bit of pain there. Oh, my word, that's the big hit. That is Romain Tamak. And head to head. Contact. Definitely not okay. intentional because that's just not the way that Roman Tomac plays his game. But but there has it is dangerous. Well, was it? It's not intentional. It's just accidental. It looks like. Tout à fait. Je veux voir le point d'impact. Voir si ça va directement à la tête ou si ça va être d'abord le buste et que ça remonte. On va regarder tous les angles. Voilà. Well, it's, um, when you see that right shoulder going into the head, he might be hit going in for a yellow yellow card. Yeah. Pour moi, le placage est au-dessus de la ligne des épaules. Maintenant, la question, c'est le degré de danger. Parce qu'on est yeah, the degree of danger. Moi, je, je, je moi, la majorité de la force n'est pas au niveau de la tête. C'est ça. C'est aussi par le corps. C'est ça. Donc, je me vois... Well, you see the tête. It's literally moi, le... round down his neck. Mais euh, le, pour moi, ce n'est pas un haut degré de danger. Euh, le, le porteur de balle, il gagne la collision. Donc, euh, par contre, je ne vois pas de facteur d'atténuation. Moi, je resterai à carton jaune. Yeah, he's just going to stay with a yellow card, uh, just because it wasn't intentional. Uh, he drove in the uh, the ball carrier, Paul Budahent, won the won the battle, if you like. Not a high level of danger, but it's a high tackle, and it's to the to the neck and the head. He's looking for the player to apologise. It looks Romain Tomac because he's not a He's not a vicious player, he's just a very hard man. And uh, well, on this occasion, he knows that he can't complain about that. You can't complain about it. Now they've got two players in the sin bin. One of them will come back for the final minutes Charlie Fomoina, Roman Ntermak, French international, will not be coming back before the end. Of the first half, Astoy adds three points, 16 nil. Look of frustration across this Toulouse team. Very rare. Doesn't happen all the time. Duprat taken off, replaced by Cyril Bai because the scrums weren't working. Charlie Famoina in the bin. For a succession of penalties going against Toulouse. Romain Tomac for a high tackle on Paul Budahent. And Remy Bordeaux comes on for Paul Budahent. Who's getting treatment for that, uh, for his cheek and jaw. Grout. Oh, he's a little slip there. Good tackle there from Dylan Leds. Toulouse in possession, but uh, there's a player flying off his feet, and I think it's Pierre Louis Barassi. Yeah, it's Pierre Louis Barassi. The outside centre, wearing the number 13 jersey. The former Lyonnais just flying off his feet. They get the ball back. Just good chances. These are good opportunities to exploit. Mm -hmm. 
Vous, vous êtes bien. Regardez, décalez votre deuxième minute. Décalez, décalez. Voilà. Samuel Lagrange, another line out success. We'll have to wait and see. A little bit of hesitation, but uh, there you go. The double, the double darts throw doesn't work, I'm afraid, for anybody. <laughs> Stays in play. Jaminet, Doulan. Toulan, round the outside, there's the pass into the hands of Dylan Leds. Not a problem. And Tamak with the tackle. Tio. Wadi, oh, that's a good opportunity, that is. Uriot stealing the ball, beautifully done. Movaka, an opportunity. Elstad gets the ball out. They get up with Pierre-Louis Barassi. Well, he's in, in possession here if he can pick that ball up, but he can't. And uh, it's Tozan. Can he get the ball out, Astoy? If he can, there's a great scoring opportunity. Loads of players out to the, out to the left. It's a good pass. Beljon, Beljon, which makes the break. It gets snagged. Again, going through the middle, sucking in the players. They've got two extra players on the pitch. If it goes out wide, you don't know where it's going to go, but there's, they've got two players that they can eventually work with. Teddy Toma this time. He's off his feet there. He can't play it, uh, Jaminet. Wadi. Oh, that's a, that's, that was knocked forward there by Piquet. It wasn't seen by the linesman, I'm afraid. Otherwise, that would be a scrum for Toulouse. Good hands. Now's the chance to attack. Little kick through. Beautifully done. Dylan Leds, Dylan Leds. Oh, he just can't get on the end of it. Monsieur Ogara watches on from the stands. Can't have any contact with any of his staff. Not even at half time. Brice Doulan. Annoyed. This is the, the kind of time that they've got to exploit. Two extra players. Get to Movaka. Limit the number of players in the line out because of the lack of players in the, on the pitch. There's the chance. Oh, Tozan, spillage. Wadi, Wadi does well. And he's flying off his feet there, uh, Placine. They got the advantage again. Little chip over the chop. It's not the right one, is it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's La Rochelle who have possession here. Look at this, ball spills out of the hands of Tozan. There you go. There it is, spillage. Hence the reason why we're going back to the scrum inside of the 22. There he is, Lucas Tozan, the 24-year-old. David Anu forced to come on. Tio Intermat goes off. And they are under, under stress, under pressure in this set piece now. Winter Mac, France under 20s player. He's just extended his contract to 2028 at Toulouse. Six foot three, big guy, big back rower. The Winter Mac DNA. Anything's possible. Got to get more points with these extra two players, but the clock has stopped as Huini Antonio gets a little bit of treatment. Pierre-Louis 
Pietro Movec, 19 caps for, for France now. And his 94th match playing for Toulouse. And David Heinu, he was actually discovered at Marcressi by Emile Ntamak. And uh, big guy coming on, Antonio replaced by George Henri Colomb, 142 kilos of tight head prop. Big guy, strong guy, technical guy, former racing man. Well, Antonio was he was he was scoring well. Be a big blow that will fall our shell. And then bid to try and stall this, bring an end to the nine match losing streak. Well, the nine match non winning streak against Toulouse. Two extra players on the pitch. The scrum that shouldn't be in question. Well, you're just going in pushing too quickly. Yeah, you can't push before a call has been made, before the ball goes in. Up in Germany. Playing quite a lot at the moment because of Tom Ramos's suspension following his uh, little instant with that headbutt in the Champions Cup, the home win against Sale. Stop, stop. Bergeon, Bergeon, has to. Here it is, Raymond Rule, Raymond Rule. Oh, he tries to kick the ball through. A good opportunity this is for Toulouse. Picked up by Favre. Need a couple more players in that. There. there it is. Bergeon. Oh, yo yo getting caught up in there. Looked a little bit illegal, but. Thought he was going to get pinged for offside. Not the case. Astoy. They've got players, remember. Raymond Rule. Ball thrown out. Opportunity for Greg Alger. Cuts inside. Ball comes out to Bottia. Hands. Safe hands by Raymond Rule this time. Bergeon, last couple of minutes, is uh, Remy Piquet. Bergeon again. Hastoy. Dylan Leds. Favre. Can he get the ball back out to his teammate? Bergeon. Not finding those extra players yet. They've got two extra players on the pitch. There's a mismatch. This is surely going to finish with a try. Brice Doulan, he's going on a coastal walk here. And takes the ball into the 22. Oh, it's a strip ball. That is fantastic. Such a good bit of jackling there from Retier. And picked up by Paul Crow. And Toulouse, well, at the moment, just uh, preventing more damage. As the ball is taken forward marginally there by Movaka. It's not releasing the ball. It's good work at the breakdown, but Roman Sazi not given the chance to jackal the ball. They will be very happy if they can get rid of this, get Charlie Fomoina back. And not concede any more points. And there is uh, Paul Budahent with his brother Pierre Budahent. Uh, Lucas Tuzan looks like he's going to go off. And it looks like, I don't know who's going to come on to replace him. Maybe uh, Dimitri Delibes. Maybe 21. Yeah, Dimitri, sorry, uh, Intermax coming on. So David Inu goes off. Charlie Fomoina comes back on. Tio and Tamak back on, and I think he, it's just. Um, they decided to take off. Uh, oh, it's Delibes who comes on for Tuzan. That's right. So Delib is the uh, 10 tries already scored in the top 14 for the 23 year old. Wonderful player, wonderful finisher. 
Ball's there for the taking. It's been picked up, but uh, mishap in the line out. Got to get that right. It's just not ideal, is it? The, the situation pops up where you've got to get points when the other players, when, the, when, your, op when your opponents are missing players through bad discipline. And that's something they haven't managed to achieve. They score more points, most well, all of their points, of course, when uh, Toulouse had 15. And uh, we'll play this phase, this line out, and whatever happens to this. But Toulouse might be quite happy just to get rid of it, get back into the changing rooms. And uh, there's Romain Tomac. Back on it. And all of a sudden, they're back to 15. And a good attacking opportunity here for Toulouse, although we've gone past the 40 minute mark. Next time the ball goes out. Movaka, Brennan. Okay. C'est bon. Bon terminé! Well, he's been chucked. They're taking him towards the. Uh, Hilary Barassi. Through the traffic he goes. Another charge. Crow gets the ball out. Inside pass by Cyril Bai. Nicely done. Joshua Brennan. A marauding charge. Ball picked up by Crow. Oh, spillage there by Ntemak. And an opportunity. Can they take advantage? Are they going to do anything? Oh, it's a good ball, but it's been that. Uh, Knocks forward, and that will be the end of the first half, logically, here at Marcel de Flandre. And it is La Rochelle 16 to lose nil. <laughs> Talking, talking, bitches, shut your mouth, a bit do the walking. When you get the job and don't you get exhausted? <sighs> Just throw the towel and forfeit, you poor kid. Mm -hmm. Or it's might as well obliterate, decapitate, annihilate, and show these niggas I was really done. Russian chicks call me handsome. Shout out to the niggas in London. To the stage, off and off with nigga, every day, why would you try to bun time? My main chick be mine now, my side chick be vape. Cause I ain't got the time to date, nigga, I just busting up, then I gay. The only thing we have in common is that we don't relate. Cause I'm great, yeah. cause you fake, yeah. cause you late. You don't know uh, what it takes yeah. to be you, to be true, to be great, yeah. to be straight, yeah. to be aligned in your mind and just shine. Romy Piquet and Co. They do have players who have picked up injuries with uh, Pierre Bugaret and Winnie Antonio, both injured in the first half. And I don't think they're going to come back on, to be honest with you. Teddy Toma, score of two tries last weekend against Perpignan at Emmy Giral. French international fly half, Romain Tomac. It's a high ball up into the sky. Budahens has the ball fly off his body. To lose with the advantage. Piquet needs to get out of there. They'll get a scrum. No, 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 no. Craig Aldrin. Paul Budahent back on for Bordeaux. And Merkler on for Tio and Tamak. 
Joel Merkel, the 21 year old. Stop. High kick. Now let's see. Will this be taken? Conditions. Oh, that's beautifully taken there by Bruce Doolan. Such safe hands. Puts it on the left foot. Slams it upfield. Nicely taken by Roman Intermac this time. What options? Good tackle there from Bergeon. Needs to get out of there. Oh, a wild pass there from Paul Gro. Arthur Retier. Knee was on the ground. Got to release the tackle player. Gro gets the ball out. Cyril Bai goes out. Oh, it's a wild pass. Got to be careful. It's Ber Barassi. Ball's been kicked forward. Jules Favre. Jules Favre. It's gone a little bit too far. I won't be able to get that. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a 22, I think. Levani Bortia colliding with Reinhard Elstadt. Aldrich still going. He's there for the taking, his Merkel. Joel Merkel, the uh, started playing rugby in Spain, joined Toulouse in 2017, having gone on a course, a rugby course, when he was in Toulouse, decided to move there at the age of 17. That's a very good kick. Look at Jaminet. Oh, good offload, beautifully done. Gro gets the ball to uh, Lebel. Lebel and the Toulouse players arriving. Jamine to Merkler. Merkler head down into traffic. It's a little bit high there by Wadi. Referee's okay with it. Go. Go around the outside. Here's Brennan. Brennan still going. Finally hits the deck. The tackle from Favre. Well, that's good work, isn't it? Very good work. Look how quick Craig Aldrich was. And they could turn over ball, that is. And an important one for La Rochelle. That's a big statement. Got a fight at the breakdown. Joshua Brennan holding the ball on the ground illegally. Perfectly weighted kick, that really was the one-handed pick-up. Crow with a good support play, Jaminet. Look at that, that is just sublime, isn't it? That's why he's a French international fullback. Great kicker as well from the tee, not only. Bergeon. Tackle coming in from Elstad, the South African. His... Uh, Paul Budahent. The box looks like it's going to go up. Lebel, Movaka, Movaka. Oh, it's been charged down, but you can't be there. You've got to get out of there. And that's what the uh, Rani Bottia. Not out of the 10 meter zone. And offside position. It's, it's a complicated situation, but you've got to be smart about it. You're like, it's like being teased, isn't it? Just can't go near it. The poison chalice. Let's look where Bottier is. Now Toulouse and Pierre Bougarit still with that strapping on the left knee. I wonder if he's going to come back on. 
keeping the muscles warm, but obviously a bit concerned. Swatted back, TT. Jules Favre straightens up, tries to get rid of Roman Tamak. Was that the right decision? I don't know. Here's uh, Hastoy with the clearance. Kick up towards the halfway line. Paul Grau. Piquet. That's going to be a turnover ball. He's got his hands on the ball, surely. That's great work. And he got to release the ball. He couldn't even release the ball. And Sebastian Boubou very happy with that. And it is that man, George Henri Colomb. He's so strong. He was just lifting up. Paul Grow with the ball. And that's the kind of jackaling technique you want. Tenth game playing for La Rochelle, having joined from Racing, just like Teddy Thomas. And previously, like Brice Doulin. All oh, these fans here every week, filling up the seats, happy to be here, come rain or shine. Fervent supporters of the privateers, the European champions. But what they would do for a Brenner Shields when the Pro D2. More than a decade ago. Good chance, this is a good kick and that should be run at, raced onto. Picked up there by LaBelle. There's Brees Doulan, chucks him to the ground. Now they're furiously defending their own manner. Deliba takes the ball a couple of meters away. Using the forwards is Charlie Fomoina. Disciplines a lot better. He needs to get out of there. Budahan does really well. This is the box kick from Gro. Watch out for the for the kick chases. No! And that will give them a great platform to attack from here. That was the outside of the left, well, inside of the left boot. Raced on. Good cover there from uh, that man, Matisse Lebel. Samuel Lagrange. Nicely taken there by Budahent. Craig Aldrich got it. Lagrange is at the back. Bergeon communicating. Players coming around on the outside. Yeah. Driving mall has come to an end. Uh, it's there. You can't pick it up. And uh, Alban Placine on the ground. Trying to jackal the ball. And not on his feet. And that should be a good... Take the three points, possibly, for Hastoy. It looks like T's going to be summoned from the sidelines. And O'Gara will be able to come back on the side of the pitch at the end of January. Of course, we've got Champions Cup and Challenge Cup rugby coming up in the next couple of weeks before we get back to Top Cators. Round 16, last weekend of January. And then round 17, the first weekend of February. And then a break for Six Nations Rugby. Hastoy pulls it wide. Didn't connect very well. In the right place. And Jaminet. Oh, you got to be careful there. And Movaka nearly making, committing a knock-on. Gro, good work by Merkler. Cyril Bai picks the ball up. Bottia with the hit, doesn't make an inch. And Tamak this time, Placine, Placine. Good low tackle there. Oh, that's really good work, that is, from Bottia. Tries to get his hands on the ball. There's nothing wrong with that, getting his feet on the ball. There was no... Uh, Ruck hadn't really formed on that occasion. Remy Piquet. Oh, Merkler coming in and flanking Piquet. That was big. That was a 
penalty going against La Rochelle there. That's pulled Buda Hens, who's in offside position, is the call. Okay. Good kick from Roman Tamak. Let's have a look where Paul Budahent. Oh, did he touch it? I thought that was a knock on as well, to be honest with you. Richie Arnold will help out with the lineouts for sure. And the rucks yeah. and the malls, <laughs> every area. Stolen, picks up. Samuel Lagrange got the advantage as well. George Henri Colombe needs to keep the ball in hand. Human bulldozer, no more advantage being played. The ball's out of the 22, got to stay in play. Bergeon ready to. There's the high kick. Who's going up for it? Came off the head and it's been picked up by Movaka. Movaka chucks the ball into the hands of, of Paul Gros. Gros gets it out. Here is uh, Retier. Retier. Oh, he's so sneaky, isn't he? That's a forward pass. And that's uh, Delibu kicks the ball forward. Big hit from uh, Botia. He gets back up on his feet. Doesn't even wince. Look at the tackle on Retier. Look at the arm, the contact around the arm. And that that was, look at the, there you go. That's with the right arm just coming down. He was, and the bossier hit. Checking if he was okay. He goes in hard, plays hard. And uh, David A. News being replaced by, come on for Famo, ain't it? Second spell. Three players back for Toulouse. 100% fit back training. Francois Crow, Santiago Chocobares, and Pierre Foysac. Got a couple of uh, bits of human ammunition on the bench as well. There's Richie Arnold who's come on for Joshua Brennan. <laughs> I'm talking, of course, about Alexandre Rumat. Been an incredible acquisition for Toulouse. And also, Juan Cruz Malia, the, the Argentinian winger, fullback. Off the back goes that man, Aldrit. Aldrit. Here's Hastoy. Hastoy. Long pass goes out wide to Teddy Chama. Picked up by Teddy. What can Teddy do? Well, fronts up against Melvin Chamonet. Bergeon picks at the ball. Hastoy. Here's uh, Greg Aldrit. Straight into the contact zone. Needs a bit of support. They do well to protect it. There's a late hit there coming in from uh, uh, Placine. And he's gone down as well. Didn't see who it was. I think it was uh, the scrum half Bergeon down on the ground and he's receiving treatment on the back of his neck because Plassin came in and hit him from behind. An opportunity here for Brice Doulan running into uh, a thicket of Toulouse um, forwards. Aldrit to Piquet. Piquet takes the ball forward. The Jackal is trying to get their hands on the ball. We're 54 minutes into this battle and the big man comes in. Of course, George Honoré Colombe. Another penalty. They've got to be careful. The discipline. And uh, this uh, will cause for a couple of words with Alban Placine, first of all, I think. Oh, he's going to get a yellow card. Oh, it's Pietro Movaca. Well, again, the discipline. Let's just have a look at this again. Now look at Placine. It's 
Quite dangerous that is by Placine. Missed the last kick, uh, Hastoy. C'est une autre faute que j'ai sanctionné. Alors arrêtez de venir hurler. C'est une autre faute qu'on a sanctionné. Hastoy's kick goes into the stands. The line-out will be set. They got a player in the sin bin. A hooker as well. Third yellow card for Toulouse. Samuel Lagrange. Perfectly taken by Roman Sassi. Now this is better. They've got numbers here. They need a little bit of backup just to get the momentum moving. Roman Sassi just working his magic there. The swimmers are in there as well. Budahan working really hard. Watch out for Richie Arnold. Well, it's been collapsed. Needs to get the ball out. The ball's there for the taking. Bergeon. Favre. They're queuing up. Raymond Rule. Here it is. Here it comes. Acceleration and the charge. Raymond Rule is the support player. Charge this time from Remy Piquet. It's going again. It's Lagrange this time, the substitute hooker. Wadi. Wadi will want to pick this up. Oh, he's going to give the ball to Henri Colombe. Over the top. Merkle getting tangled up there, but it doesn't. It's not a major concern. It's a La Rochelle ball, I think. The ball's come out, coming in from the side. Another charge, five metres out. Need to keep that going. There's not too many defenders back in position. Just keep on hitting that Toulouse wall and they might get something. Little change of direction. The ball's going to come out. The ball's been kicked into the corner. That is not ideal, I don't think. The pass goes in. And did it go forward there into the hands of Brice Doulan? They're trying to get the ball out. It's there. Well, it's absolutely wild. There's a penalty. Can't play the ball on the ground. And that's the call going against Doulan. They've got to watch out because Intermac smashes it up. Field. There's support play. Oh, you can't fly off your feet there. That's going to be a penalty. Blatant stuff. Melvin Jaminet. <laughs> Dylan Leds wants to get it going, doesn't he? He wanted to tap. A little smile. He's like, get this moving. Get this moving, moving. Um, Astoy will now get them back up where they were. All that hard work okay. comes to nothing. Extra man on the pitch. Just look at this. There he is. Can't do that. I don't think that was the right call. Too many defenders back in position. Grow is there and Tamak. If it would have come off, you would have. I wouldn't have said anything, and I would have just obviously bigged up that move. But Thomas Bergeon's going to go off, and it looks like the young scrum half Lucas Zamora is going to come on it. And Pierre Boudehens comes on for Favre. Is that Bartier going off as well? Six. There he is, Lucas Zamora. And Alexandre. Rumour on for Elstad. Mali has come on as well. Oh, and Roma and Tomac goes off. Bordeaux on for Bottia. Still going forward. This is much better. Samuel Lagrange at the back. And this is a team effort. 
Got to go in at the right place. Wadi gets it out. Can he get the ball out? Oh, it's not the right pass, I think, into the hands of uh, Budahens. But in any case, that's a good pass. There's a little chip, a little kick down into the corner. Melvin Jaminet's got it. But um, I think we're going to go back to a penalty, possibly for collapsing of the mall. What are they going to do? Three points. Uh, Special Pubula. The call was for three points, but of course this, this is not going to happen with uh, Astoy eyeing up the corner like that. Penalty out wide. Still got an extra player on the pitch. No hooker. Line out for Samuel Lagrange. Can the La Rochelle forwards put together? A big line out, Sazzy, great take. There's a great opportunity here if they can get this moving in the right direction. This is surely going to go over. It's been collapsed, the ball comes out. Little kick through. Oh, that was really close for Teddy Chalmer in the corner. Are they going to go for a scrum? <laughs> What's the call? Pierre Budahent. Into the corner they go again. They've had numerous opportunities to get points on the scoreboard. And they are going to go for a scrum. I thought as much because just the way that they've actually been working. And three, four penalties. That wasn't too far off, was it, for uh, TT in the corner. Nicely done there by Zamora. A little cheeky grabber. <laughs> And uh, changing the front, well, uh, we've, they've of course got to get Jan Bubia, who's going to come on. Here he is. Movak is in the sin bin. So Artyom Retier is sacrificed. Such an important scrum this is. There it is, the shove. The big shove, the big shove, it's there for the take and the ball does come out. Nicely done with Budahen taking the ball forward. Yoyo tries to get his hands on the ball, it's there for the taking. Picked up by his brother, his brother still trying to go a little bit closer towards the try line. Another pick up but it's not unsuccessful, thrown back down, the defence is in position. Can they get the ball, pick it up and take it forward? Oh, a little bit of a darting move there, don't even see who's got his hands on the ball. But it looks like it's a Zamora, another charge, picking the ball up, closer and closer. Closer towards the paint. It's a, a meter, a meter out there, and it's surely it's the score. Yes, it is. Celebrations in a big way. How about that? Scored there by that man, Pierre Budahent. Third try of the season for the big giant centre. It means the world. Well, it was, they had to be smart in that attacking position. And it, it was exactly that. First of all, taking the ball forward, the scrum was absolutely perfect. Zamora gets the ball out, a little bit of pick and go until he got closer and closer towards uh, the five meter line. Inching closer, and then Wadi was there. A very swift pass into the hands of Budahan. Over he goes. Everybody's happy, including that man there. <laughs> Oh, 
Straightforward kick for Hastoy. 23 points for La Rochelle, nil for Toulouse. You don't hear that every day, do you? Well, you haven't been told that scoreline in the past nine editions of this showdown between these giants of the top Cators. Jamini gets the ball back high up into the sky. A little bit of a knock on, picked up by Dele, but uh, scrum. And Hawari replaced by Thierry Paver, French international. Loose head prop. They've still got the replacement hooker on the pitch with Ian Bubia. Kyle Hatherall comes on. The uh, South African, the former Worcester wor Warriors man, and uh, Delaine coming on for Sazi. There he is, big giant Irishman. Born in Paris. Flexion! Lié! Shot! Well, again, they just keep going. Well, this time, yes, another penalty. They carted around, didn't they? Despite the fact they got Alexander Ruma and Richie Arnold on the pitch, still got. Carted, and that was uh, the issue. It's on the other side that it's all happening, going in at an angle, sorry. And then afterwards, well, it just all goes wonky in a big way. 17 to go. They should get their 15th player back. There's Intermac, who's desperate to come back on. And Piatto Movaca. Will also want to come back on as well. Samuel Lagrange, his line outs have been absolutely spot on until now. The commentator's curse always happens. Malia, his grow, getting the ball out to Alexander Rumat. Big attempt to try and get his hands on the ball. His uh, Boubia up against Grand, uh, Lagrange. Alban Placina should get their 15th man back on the pitch pretty soon. David Anu. Taken forward by Merkler. Craig Alger trying to pounce on that, but it's Paul Gro. Score of a try last uh, weekend. Rumat played in such an important part. That's great work, that is. Surely it's going to be a penalty. Well, Craig Alger had his hands on that in a big way. Well, it's over there, yeah. <laughs> well, he got knocked forward, so... I think it's Aldri just knocked the ball forward, but such good work. Honestly, he's just... He probably felt a little bit loose change there. I thought that was his. He thought that was his, and the entire public here at this Marcel de Flon Stadium thought it was as well. Set. Placine goes off and Dio and Tamak comes back on. There you go. Close call. Oh, they've got a uh, Maxime Duprat come back on, it looks like. So Cyril Bai, who came on very early in this game, 22nd minute, just um, goes to the bench. Now, what's he got up his sleeve here? The former Agenet. He's got his first top 14 try against Clermont. Oh, room out, a little bit of a slip. Gro gets the ball out. Here is uh, Melvin and Tomac. Retier back on the pitch. Tries to front up to Dylan Leds. He's going to get thrown out, and it's going to be a La Rochelle line out. <laughs> Ah, 
Allez, Noir, on y va. Pierre Bougaret just there on the bike, keeping his muscles warm, but obviously he's got a little bit of a... Niggling knee injury that's uh, keeping him from playing here and coming back on. Dividendu, Toulouse on the attack. His Merkler. La Rochelle players just moving out of the way. Is Theo and Tamak. Strong defensive play there from Greg Aldrit. Gro gets the ball out. Here is Duprat. Duprat. It's the deck quite quickly. Gro gets the ball out. His Delib. Delib. Wonderful player, but there's not much room for movement, is there? Tamak this time. He had his hands on the ball. Got on. Oh my word. Looks up to the referee. Come on, he's saying. Merkler. Paul Gro. Inside pass. Bit of a blind pass into the hands of uh, Matty Slabel. It's a good strong hits coming in as well. Hastoy picks him up. The ball comes out with a whiz. I think it was. Um, Playing the ball on the ground. And that's why it just uh, popped up there. Get a chance to do something with this. Uh, honestly, George John Ricola must be very frustrated because that's two. Two players, both uh, Greg Aldrich and George John Ricola, both getting their hands on the ball and not being given the penalties for jackling wasn't much in it did he Lacroix just a bit further behind not sat next to Vincent Merling the president of La Rochelle who's done heaps of fantastic stuff to make this team what they are today is Bubia Rumat clean take well organized driving more Bubia's at the back not moving, they get the ball out. There's Retier, Retier. Strong defensive tackle. Placed down on the ground. Got to get out of there. They just got to get out of there. For, for a little bit frustrating, that was. Lucas Zamora. Got a penalty option here. Depends what they can do with this. Ball does come out finally. Jaminet is very quick. And so is this man as well. Lightning pace from Labelle, but there's not much space. And we're going to go back to the penalty. Teddy Chomer does get his hands on the ball. Perfect tackle from Zamora. Ten minutes. Oh, they haven't conceded any points just yet. Will that continue? And uh, Dimitri Delee will go off. Right, Elstad on for Yuyot. Oh, Belgian's come back on for Zamora. Just want that experience. And he's still a very young player, isn't he? Zamora's barely 20. He's trying to look around, saying, what's going on here? They just want the player who played in the final and helped La Rochelle win the Heineken Cup. That's a perfect take from Rumat. Boubiez at the back. And there he is, Boubia is going to go. Can he go? He's in a good position. They got the advantage. He's not in a legal position. The ball's at the bottom of the ruck there. Forwards, getting back into position. Richie Arnold this time. Tallest player on the pitch. Can't uh, gain a few metres. It's a tackle there, but it's uh, offside. And Tamak goes carving up the defence. Good angle. Merkel is going to pick it up. Merkel, Merkel, Merkel. He's... Uh, been held up. An offside position. They might get a yellow card here. They don't want to throw this away. Having built up this 23 point lead, there's spillage. But the, will Mr. Shara stop the clock and pull out a yellow card? 
It's at least three penalty offences there. 23 offside. And all of, yeah, there's loads of players offside. And it's Aldrin. This is a big blow. This is, he will not play the last 10 minutes of this very important battle against Toulouse. The thing is, they've got to get three tries, three conversions, and a penalty. But it's game over for Greg Aldrit, who's put in a marauding, storm trooping 70 minutes out here today in front of the home crowd. Losing a couple of their favourites, their shoes. Pierre Bougaret, Uini Antonio through injury, and now Greg Aldrich binned for the last ten. They're going to put an eighth man in the scrum. It might not hold up. I'd probably put. Uh, Pierre Budahens, there he is, Pierre Budahens, they're just on the... Uh... Flexion! Lié! Jean! No, it's a seven-man scrum, and they're going to try and hold it up. Oh, it's signed while it's gone down, and he wants that reset. Use up a bit more time, that's, um, that's a good thing for La Rochelle. They've got a pretty solid front row if you actually look at the players they got there. Samuel Lagrange, who's really done well to replace Pierre Bougaret since he went off with that injury. And then Thierry Paver, the former UBB. Lucet. George Henri Colombe. He knows what he's doing once he's settled down in his position. There's Remy Bordeaux at the back. Former harassing man. Here we go. Scrum time once again. Eight minutes to go. Toulouse, no points on the scoreboard. La Rochelle 23. Where are we going? I've got no idea. The ball does come out. Here's a chance. Oh, it's Pierre Louis Barassi. Runs straight into Raymond Rule. They try to get the ball out wide. No options there. Ball taken forward. Hits the deck as. Uh, Malia, Paul Grau, Barassi, Barassi, oh, it's a beautiful pass, that is fantastic, Arthur Rettier scores against his former team, third try of the season, right place, right time, fine finish indeed. <laughs> Well, it's Barassi who sucks in two defenders, just off his right shoulder, perfectly done. When Cruz Malia doing the business, Retier finishing it off. And the extras are good as well. Seven points in the bag for Toulouse. 23 points to seven. La Rochelle, no rush to take this. It's Delane. Her story and co. They need to hold forts. They got one player down. Picked up by Bobila. Good counter rocking by Thierry Paver. Crow, there's the kick. Goes over the top, goes out of play. The line out still in the Toulouse half. Didn't really. Get the distance on that. There is Greg Aldrich. Paying the price for successive infringements from the Toulouse defence. 
High ball over the top, nicely done. That is beautifully done. Look at this, charging through Pierre Boudin. Well, six foot five of him. Big center indeed. Big charge this time, coming from Remy Bordeaux. Ball's there for the taking. Bergeon, Thierry Bava, head down into traffic. Tacklers told to get out of there. Here's Raymond Rule, the South African. Delaying this time. La Rochelle. What options have they got? Well, give it to the big center. 50 points. 55 points scored now for uh, La Rochelle. Bergeon, look, there's loads of space in between. A little bit of pressure here. He's got to take the ball. He's under pressure in a big way. And that's going to be a scrum five. Took the ball over. The try line, and then fell under pressure. It's the way that ball bounced. Raymond Rule's kick behind the defence, putting so much pressure on Jaminet. Tried to do that hot-stepping manoeuvre, but Brice Doulan's there, Rule's up there. And that is exactly what Sebastian Bouboul and the racing staff wanted. La Rochelle looking to move back into third position with victory, just leapfrogging Bordeaux Bergle. Stood on just uh, another win is Remy Piquet on for Paul Budahent. Strong performance from the from the open side flanker. Playing his 50th match. Born in Angers in the Loire Valley and a former under 20s player for the French national team. Big scrum, a big play for La Rochelle. One player down. Not just anyone. It's Greg Aldrit. Are they going to put someone at the back? They don't think that they need to. Well, there it is. It's there for the taking. They're going to take the ball forward. They got a penalty. They do have a penalty. Need to pick it up. There's a player that's been taken out there. Bergeon. Oh, let's just take another scrum. Not going to get a winning bonus point. I think that's a, a done deal. But they are destined, and it looks inevitable that they will beat Toulouse tonight and move on from what has been a, a barren stretch against the mighty boys from the Pink City. And the smiles are starting to seep out. Aldrit knows he can breathe a sigh of relief. Bougarit as well. He's up on his feet, so his injury can't be too bad. But better protect your knee rather than throw yourself into the war zone. And you've got a replacement hooker who's doing really well. Again, this all plays... Plays out well for La Rochelle. Clock ticking away. Allez, 
into the last minute we go. Here we go, this time it's held out, they got another penalty. Any chance you can get the ball out, there's Belgian, Belgian, can he ground the ball, has it been grounded? Well, the referee's there, but he can't see that much. It looks like it's been held up, but we got a penalty anyway. Dans un premier temps, il est tenu, d'accord, dans un premier temps, vous tombez sur un partenaire qui est devant. Donc on revient à la pénalité ici. <laughs> Remy Bordeaux hauling his teammate kind of on top of him, close to the line, anywhere near the white paint. Doesn't happen. But the horn of the boat, the sound of the siren, triggers the end of this showdown after this last phase of play. Get another penalty and Alger could come back on. But let's play the scrum first of all. In it goes. The ball's available. Comes out the back as Remy Bordeaux. They're going for the third try. Ulchan, there it is. Another charge. Oh, it looks like it's been scored. How about that? One way to blitz this Toulouse defence. Scored by Kyle Hatherall, the South African. His first try for his new club, La Rochelle, having turned up from Worcester Warriors, who went into liquidation. Happy days for... The big man from South Africa. And the perfect way to wrap up this win against Toulouse. Bringing an end to a, a shadow that has been cast over their performances against the 21 time French champions. Taken forward there by Remy Bordeaux, but this was the moment crashing over the line right in front of the referee and the points are definitely in the bag Astori adds the two extra points and there it is the New, Year, New Year's resolution for 2023 here at the Stade Marcel de Flandre is that we're going to beat Toulouse. The final score, La Rochelle 30, Toulouse 7. And they have broken their inability to beat the five-time European champions. After nine attempts, they finally get their victory. And old friends catch up here on the sacred grounds of this fine pitch and this fine stadium. Another full house and a big game from this big side, of course, uh, La Rochelle. Toulouse unable to deliver tonight. Unbeaten since the 27th of November. But here they are showing us that they are capable of losing. Not fielding that A team, but they did have top players right across the pitch. And that's one of them, of course, Artie Retier, score of the only try against his former team. And this is interesting. Paul Groh, of course, formerly of, of Osh, just like that man, Pierre Bougarit, and Greg Aldred, a bit of a catch up for these guys, but well, the new year starts very well for La Rochelle. And those points will take them back up into third position. 41 points now. Eight behind the leaders, Stade Toulousain. And five behind Stade Francais, who've comfortably 
sat down in that second position. Artie Retier will give us his uh, verdict after this uh, match here tonight. Not the ideal way to start 2023, but at the end of the day, they just come off a victory against uh, Clermont. And that obviously sets them up perfectly, regardless of this result here. It's always complicated to come here to La Rochelle. Hugo Mola just uh, talking about a few things, not going into too much detail. He knows that that wasn't the performance that he wanted his team to produce, but still, they will most definitely march on as they go in search of... Uh, Another top 14 title, top, another top Capitals title, a 22nd Brennus. Both teams going through the drills. That little team talk put everything in, in the right place. Roman Sazi talking with his players. Greg Aldred, of course, is the, the man, along with Roman Sazi, these two players. Strong leaders, taking the team in the right direction, doing the right things. That's a good, solid uh, performance, that is. And they didn't concede too many points in the second half. And I think that's uh, one of the things they got to look at. The discipline was good. They got the... Uh, they're the less sanctioned team after 13 rounds. Of course, we're in the 15th round uh, now, but only five cards, one of them being a red. But Toulouse winning the last two matches here at Marcel de Flandre and scoring, always scoring with an extra player on the pitch. But tonight, a different scenario. La Rochelle didn't manage to score too many points when they had the extra players, but discipline really wasn't good for Toulouse. And their scrums, but they were getting pummeled pretty much each time. A very frustrating night for Toulouse in the set piece, especially. Well, some people do say that when Antoine Dupont's not playing, it's a different scenario altogether. He basically gives them that extra spark they need. Well, I don't think we need to worry about that. I think we just need to uh, to look at uh, how La Rochelle played, because they played well tonight, and they'll be very, very happy with this performance. Arthur Rettier. Marcel de Flandre, une chose est sûre, le public Rochelet ne vous a pas oublié. Vous avez été... Vous avez été gratifié d'une petite ovation du public. En revanche, sur, sur le terrain avec, avec Toulouse aujourd'hui, il n'y a pas grand-chose à dire. La Rochelle était, était meilleure. Oh non, non, il n'y a rien à dire. Il n'y a rien à dire. Ça a été compliqué tout le match avec une première mi-temps. Compliqué. On prend 16 points, mais on peut en prendre 30. Donc, uh, um, compliqué le match. Nous étions 16 points à la fin. Et puis, finalement, nous pouvons voir 30. On a marqué à scorer quand on a eu le ballon. Ils ont réussi à scorer chaque fois qu'ils ont eu le ballon. Il faut retourner au travail la semaine prochaine pour la Coupe d'Europe. Uh, we need to focus on the Champions Cup next week. Ce pas forcément un match pour les ailiers, justement. Aujourd'hui, 30 points passés au Stade Toulousain, ça doit être une grosse satisfaction. Mais mine de rien, on se dit presque qu'il y a peut-être une petite frustration. Il y avait peut-être 5 points à aller chercher aujourd'hui. Oui, bien évidemment, on aurait bien aimé. Mais bon, we would have liked to have had 5 points. Sometimes, you know, we just got to basically take whatever we can. The fact that we got back to winning ways at home was the was was priority uh, in whatever way we played. So it wasn't pretty. It wasn't beautiful rugby, but it was the forwards who chucked the ball around. So I mean, you know, it's. Uh, just want to say thanks to the forwards and thanks to the public because hopefully this is a good uh, springboard for the future. Aime tout particulièrement et qui a plutôt bien démarré pour vous. Ouais, effectivement, ça s'est bien goupillé pour nous au début, mais le plus yeah. important, ça reste la fin. Donc, uh, yeah, the, the, the most, the, what's important is the end of the season. You know, the start of the season's good, first half, but I mean, still a lot of work to do. Je ne sais pas si ça va être du bon rugby encore, mais. Uh, en I don't know if it's going to be good rugby. You know, uh, uh, the, the, the important is for us to, to win, uh, not to play beautiful rugby all the time.